background. After all, science has shown that a person's character is a really established until he's at least five years old. But I am five. I'm more than five. Oh. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. The only thing wrong with my big brother, Charlie Brown, is his lack of confidence. His inferiority in his lack of confidence. His clumsiness, his inferiority in his lack of confidence. You're a good that Charlie Brown has never pitched a winning baseball game, never been able to keep a kite in the air, and never su su successfully punched a football? You have your Billy, no Billy, and a sense of honor that is very, very I think Charlie Brown has nice hands. It's truly a dog's life. You try acting excited when that brown headed kid comes home from school. You're a prince and a prince could be king. Charlie Brown's face. Charlie Brown is what you call a failure face. Notice how it has failure written all over it. Some days I wake up early to watch the sun rise and I think how beautiful it is and how my life lies before me. And I get a very positive feeling about things. How could anything go wrong on a day like this? I'm late!
trusted people. I must admit, however, that I don't know much about it. I wasn't here when it happened. Lunchtime is about the worst time of the day for me. Always sitting here, alone. Well, mornings aren't always so pleasant either. Waking up and wondering if anyone would really miss me if I never got out of bed. And then there's the nights too. Lying there and thinking of all the stupid things I've done during the day and all the hours in between when I do all those stupid things. Well, lunchtime is among the worst times of the day for me. Oh well, I better see what I got. <sighs> Peanut butter. You know, some psychiatrists say that people who eat peanut butter sandwiches are lonely. I guess they're right. And when you're really lonely, peanut butter sticks to the roof of your mouth. Boy, the PT should did a good job of painting these benches. Oh, there's that cute little redheaded girl sitting down and eating her lunch over there. I wonder what she'd do if I went over and asked her if I came to lunch with her. She'd probably laugh right in my face. It's hard on a face when it gets laughed in. I mean, there's an empty spot next to her on that bench. There's no reason why I couldn't just walk over and, and sit there. All I'd have to do is Stand up! I'm, I'm standing up! I'm sitting down. I'm a coward. I have so much of a coward, she wouldn't even think of looking at me. She hardly ever does look at me. In fact, I can't remember her ever looking at me. Well, why shouldn't she look at me? Is there any reason why she should look at me? Is she so great and I'm so small she can't spare one little moment? <gasps> She's looking at me. She's looking at me. No, Sally. You're thinking of that other dress. The one I wore to the serious party. The one I'm talking about was the very light pink one with the design embroidered around the plates. I don't remember. Something like this. And the skirt went out like this. And it had these puffy sleeves and a sash like this. Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> yes. Well, that was the dress I was wearing last week when I met Frida. Lunchtime is among the worst times of the day for me. I swear, if that little red-headed girl is looking at me with this stupid bag on my head, she must think I'm the biggest fool alive. But if she isn't looking at me, then maybe I could take it off quickly and she will not notice it. But on the other hand, I can't tell if she's looking unless I take it off. But then again, if I never take it off, I'll never have to know if she was looking or not. On the other hand, it's kind of hard to breathe in here. She's not looking at me. I wonder why she never looks at me. Oh well, one more shower over with only 2,863 to go.
I'm sure you could play something nice like April showers. Or even Prairie Jaga. Beethoven's nice too. Happiness is a fleeting thing, Sally, but I really think that a man can come closer to it by directing the forces of his life towards a single goal that he believes in. And I don't really think that a man's personal search for happiness is really a selfish thing either, because by achieving happiness himself, he can help others to find it. Does that make sense to you? We have to scatter at our house three times this week. <laughs> princess sort of thing, a white dress, and some nice slippers, and a big ballroom. But I guess that's sort of silly, isn't it, Charlie Brown? Oh no, not at all. I mean, well, we all have our little daydreams or ambitions or whatever you want to call them. I've had one myself for years, but I haven't told anyone. What, Charlie Brown? You can tell me. Oh no, it's not the sort of thing I should tell. No. I don't think I should. Oh, come on. I wouldn't give it away. Come on, please. Well, I've always wanted to be called Flash. I hate the name Charlie. I'd like to be real athletic and have everybody call me Flash. I'd like to be so good at everything that all around the school I'd be known as Flash. Hey, Freda, listen to this. What's the matter, Sally? Well, I don't know. I was jumping rope and everything was all right. When suddenly, it all seemed so futile. Choco Pal. Hey, Peppermint Patty. Hi, Marcy. Do we have baseball practice today? Beethoven used to be fond of taking long walks in the country. He was always inspired by the beautiful sounds of the countryside. You want to come back with that ball? Beethoven had it nice.
You know, I never really realized how far down from the ground it was from here. Oh. with some smooth talking and a little fast action.
on my independent station. I will go and leave my blanket on the floor. Yes, I'll walk away and leave it. Though I know you won't believe it. I'll just walk away and leave it on the floor. La 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 Yes, I'll walk away and leave it on the I thought I could do it. I actually thought I could do it.
belief of thought to itself? If so, then is it not true that time alone can judge a work of art? Or was I judged on my talent? If so, is it right that I be judged on a part of my life that I have no control over? If I was judged on my effort, I was judged unfairly. For I tried as hard as I could. Perhaps I was being judged on what I learned from this project. If so, then were you not my teacher also being judged on your ability to transmit your knowledge to me? Are you still willing to share my fee? Maybe I was judged on the quality of the coat hanger itself, out of which my creation was made. Now is that not also unfair? Am I to be judged by the quality of coat hangers that are used by the dry cleaning establishment that returns our garments? Is that not my parents' responsibility? Should they not share my fee? Thank you, Miss Oscar. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. Gotta make sure it doesn't snag, doesn't trip, doesn't drag. Gotta watch out for every little whoops. A little less speed, a little more tap, a little less rise, a little more slack. Gotta keep my wits about me now. Gotta make sure it doesn't get the best of me till I get in the air somehow. Millions of little kids do it every day. They make a kite and it fits in the sky. Leave it to me to have a wonderful kite. A little kid could ride. A little less talk, a little more skill, a little less luck, a little more will. Gotta face this bell and wide eye. Now that I've seen you chasing moles, climbing trees, digging holes, catching a string on everything passing by. I do 
do anything if that little redhead girl sent me a valentine. Maybe she did send me one and it's in my mailbox right now. Oh, I'm afraid to look. If I look and there's nothing there, I'll be crushed. On the other hand, if she did send me one, I just gotta do it. Hello? Nothing echoes like an empty mailbox. I've been thinking about why you didn't get any Valentine's Day, brother. I think I figured it out. You didn't get any Valentine's because nobody sent you any. <laughs> I can't stand it. Look at all of them laughing and enjoying their valentines. I send a valentine to everyone that I know this Valentine's Day. And did I get any in return? No, not one. I did not get one single valentine. Oh, everyone gets valentines but me. Nobody likes me. I get just about as many valentines as a dog. <laughs> Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, Lucy, I'm so depressed. Everything is going wrong. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry to hear that, Charlie Brown. Maybe there's something I can do to help. What you need most of all is to come right out and admit all the things that are wrong with you. Do you really think that will help, Lucy? Certainly. All right, I'll try. I'm not very handsome or clever or lucid. I've always been stupid at spelling and numbers. I've never been much playing football or baseball or stickball or checkers or marbles or ping pong. I'm usually awful at parties and dances. I stand like a stick or I cough or I laugh or I don't bring a present or I spill the ice cream or I get so depressed that I stand and I scream. Oh, how? Why, Charlie Brown, you really have to tell. You're stupid, self-centered, and moody. I'm moody. You're terribly dull to be with. Yes, I am, and nobody likes me. Not Frida, or Shirley, or Linus, or Schroeder. Or Lucy. Or Lucy. Or Snoopy. Or S Wait a minute, Snoopy likes me. He only pretends to like you because you feed him. That doesn't count. Or Snoopy. Oh, why? Oh! 
musician. No hope for each musician. No more I'm I the only guy. Stand up and say, Hooray, Beethoven, Hooray. Beethoven Day? Yes, that's Ludwig von Beethoven. The elves of three sons, Lucas, mother with a daughter, and she folks here. What are? I just want you to know that I'm on your side. I want to help you. Publicity wise, the patient with birthday. After all, this is a really big thing. Well, thanks for your support, but I just don't want to see Beethoven's birthday commercialized. Commercialized? Yeah, the next thing you know, they'll be making Beethoven t shirts. Beethoven. If you're wondering how do we start, just throw the music till you know it by heart. We're gonna celebrate, we'll have a party. Beethoven's birthday. Beethoven Day. And when you stay in the title, Beethoven Day. You hear a great recital. We're right with every boy and girl. Stand up and say, Hooray, Beethoven, hooray.
Sometimes when you're depressed, all you want to do is nothing. All you want to do is just lean on your arm and stare at his face. Sometimes this can go on for hours. If you're unusually depressed, you may need to switch arms. Lucky tomorrow will be a better day. In some parts of the world, tomorrow's already today, and today is yesterday. If tomorrow's already today, Charlie Brown, there's no way tomorrow can be any sort of a better day. Well, you're a lot of fun to have around.
you your philosophy? Why tell me? My new philosophy! That's great, Sally. But I've got to go practice Chopin's Nocturne in B flat minor. No! To your philosophy, huh? Yeah! I mean, no! It's like a baby bee. Each new philosophy can fly from tree to tree and keep me moving. When life's a dizzy maze, all alternating days, I choose a different phrase. Your new philosophy. My new philosophy. Sally, some philosophies are simple. Man does not live by a bread alone. Some philosophies are clear. We can mess up the thumb of the tongue. Some philosophies we can choose. Decide what the thing is. Some take a lifetime. Mine take a minute. Oh. Wait a minute, Sally. Anything that takes only a minute cannot be very lasting. For instance, Beethoven took over two years to complete his brilliant ninth symphony. No! I can't stand it! I can't!
lost two strikes, the faces were all in with two men out. I pitched my curve, and somehow we hit it up. Objectionable. 
Would that be A, B, or C? What would be your answer to that, Charlie Brown? A, B, or C? Which one would you say, hmm, Charlie Brown? Hmm? Well, I, I'm gonna have to say forceful. Lucy, forceful. But I see. We'll put a check mark next to the letter A then. Now, would you rate my ability to get along with other people as poor, fair, good, or excellent? Well, I think it depends a lot on what you mean by get along with other people. You know, make friends, sparkle in a crowd, that sort of thing. Do you have room for abstention? Certainly. I'll just put a check mark next to none of the above. Now this next question deals with physical appearance. In regards to my beauty, would you say that I was stunning, mysterious, or intoxicating? Well, gee, I don't know, Lucy. You look just fine to me. Stunning. All right then, Charlie Brown. I think we should get back to that first question. On a scale from 0 to 100, using a standard of 50 and up. I remembered the question, Lucy. Well? 51? 51 is your crabbiness rating for me. That about does it, I guess. Thank you very much for helping me with this survey, Charlie Brown. Your cooperation has been greatly appreciated. It was a pleasure, Lucy. Any time. Come on, Snoopy. Oh, just a minute. One more question. Would you answer yes or no to the following question? Is Lucy Van Pelt the sort of person you would like as president of your club or civic organization? Oh, yes. By all means, Lucy. Yes. Well, that about does it, I think. Well, who asked you? Now let's see, that's 51, none of the above. Schroeder is right. I can already feel myself filling with the glow of self-awareness. Oh, Sally, I think that's 110. See, poor, none of the above, no. And what are you going to do about that dent you made in my bicycle? It's amazing how fast where did these surveys get around. Oh, Linus, I'm glad you're here. I'm conducting a survey and there are a few questions I'd like to ask you. Sure, go ahead. Well, the first question is, on a scale from 0 to 100, using a standard of 50 as average, 75 as above average, and 90 as exceptional, where would you rate me with regards to crabbiness? You're my big sister. That's not the question. No, but that's the answer. Linus, answer the question. Look, Lucy, I know very well if I give any sort of an honest answer to that question, you're going to slug me. Linus, a survey that is not built on honest answers is like a house built on a foundation of sand. Would I be spending my time to conduct this survey if I did not expect complete candor on all responses? I promise not to slug you. Now, what would be your fabulous rating for me? Ninety-five. Ah! It's a woman's prerogative to change her mind. Now we have these two columns here, and that gives me my answer. There. It's all done. Now let's see what we've got.
I've been wondering when it was that dog first began to be regarded as man's best friend. Ooh, I'll write to the invention of cookies. Oh, oh my teeth are bleeding again. Oh, I feel like I gotta bite someone before sundown. I'll go start raving mad. And yet, I know society frowns on such an action like this. So what happens? I'm stuck with tingly teeth. Snoopy! Each family has a chain of command. And do you know who's the lowest? Guess! It's the dog! The dog's the lowest. Do you understand that, Snoopy? I said, do you understand that? They hate when you stare at them like this. responsibility for the knowledge of the little brother. So she's teaching me. Boy, is she intelligent. Come on, Linus.
bring on the soup dish, bring on the cup, bring on the bacon and fill me up, cause it's supper, 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 supper time. Finding a pencil 